Samsung Internet is a web browser for Android phones. It comes pre-installed on Samsung phones, but even if you don't have a Samsung phone, you can get it from the Google Play Store. There might be some limitations on some features that are exclusive to Samsung phones. Now here is the biggest news. Samsung Internet is now available for Windows PC. Now you might think, I mean, it's just a, another web browser. What's the big deal? But it's actually a unique and clean web browser on PC. Let me clear out one thing. I don't use Samsung internet on my phone, even though I have a Samsung phone. I prefer Google Chrome, but the PC version of Samsung internet is actually amazing. It's unique, it's clean, especially if you wanna do multitasking, it's a really good web browser actually. Now I have this thing already installed and this is the official website for Samsung internet for Windows. It's in beta and uh, right now this is only available in two countries, South Korea and United States. So if you live in one of these countries, you can go to this website and join the beta program and start testing this. Now I have this thing installed and this is the user interface of this. Okay. Looks just like every other web browser. But there is one thing that I really like about this, a mobile-like browsing, okay? So in sidebar, you can see I have a couple of options here, like Google, Instagram, ChatGPT. Let's say I wanna open ChatGPT. Instead of opening the ChatGPT or any other app, on the main page, it opens in sidebar. And you also have the split view option. Now you have three different spaces to browse the internet. Isn't that amazing? So in one, I can, let's say, open YouTube and on other, I can open Google and I can close the split view just like that. Let's say you're on YouTube. Okay. You can watch YouTube videos here and here to the side, you can open Instagram, TikTok, ChatGPT or whatever, uh, you know, website you want to browse while doing your main thing on other side and if it's not enough you can open split view and have three different sites now this is the home page of this web browser here you'll see recently visited websites or you can add bookmarks here and you can also sign in with the samsung account and if you use samsung internet on your phone you can sync your web browser history bookmarks uh, on your PC and on your phone. Again, as I said, I don't actually use Samsung internet on my phone. To use some of the features, I'll have to sign in to the Samsung account. Okay, like using the AI features to summarize the website and all that. Okay, right now you can see I'm not signed in. And yes, you can use this web browser without signing in if you want to. And I like that. Recently, I have seen some of the web browsers that actually require you to sign in especially the AI powered web browsers. Now, if we talk about the technical stuff, what it is and all that, this is actually based on Chromium web browser. So if you go to settings and about Samsung internet, here you can see it uses the Chromium. So it's as good as other web browsers that are based on Chromium, like Chrome itself. And it's very minimal. Uh, now these days, every new web browser comes with too many options or too many bloat. Yeah, this is very minimal. This is a clean web browser with some really unique and actually useful features. And you can have multiple, uh, you know, websites here. You can simply click on plus and here you can select different websites or you can also search for the website that you want to add. Okay, let's say you wanna browse the Amazon while you're doing your thing on the main page. You can quickly close that and quickly open that at any time. And overall, this web browser feels fast, okay? It's based on Chromium, so it's gonna be as good as the Google Chrome, and uh, it's not bloated, so it feels fast, and you can also add and remove different widgets. Right now, there are only two widgets, clock and weather, so you can enable and disable them. So this is the default wallpaper, but I can change this and have my custom wallpaper. So if I go and click on plus icon, custom there, and I can go and browse my wallpapers. Let's say I like this one. Okay, now it's gonna give you the preview how it's going to look and I'm gonna click on done. Now look at that, that's much better actually. I like this wallpaper. <laughs> yeah, I actually like this web browser. 
again i have not used a samsung internet on my phone even though i have samsung uh, phone but on my pc i can see myself using it once it comes out of beta again the beta is only available in uh, South Korea and United States. So if you live in one of those countries, you can go to the official website, sign up and get the beta and test it and see if you like it or not. In my opinion, this is, again, a pretty good web browser with some unique features. And yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.